That'll do. So how much stash have you got under your kitchen sink? We've got Did two. anybody wag it at school? Jesus. I'm not too sure what's going on there. Uh, how many how many coots are there? Hi Sandra, how do you enjoy your little walk there? Bit of a brisk one, nice and uh, sunny. Now, me and plumbing do not mix. But, all being well, that should do that trap is a different size to the other trap which is open to use but look we've got a spare washer so all being well that'll do and that'll be the last bit of plumbing I ever do in this house ever again two weeks to go okay. I'll buy a new one when we get to Lincolnshire you've never I'll used them have you? Clean we go. Okay. Keep, one. keep one Sandra keep so how much stash have you got under your kitchen sink? We've got two crate fulls of stuff. Um, I've got these to clean the dishwasher. Just bin it. Oh, I'm clean it before I go. You see? This is why I didn't want to do it. No, that's, that's the floor I need to. Anyway. <sighs> we did have a drip, but we've not got a drip. I hate plumbing. Me and plumbing don't go. Much better. Thank you. I'm great at plumbing me, you know. One of my best skills I've ever got is plumbing. I've got some stories about you and your plumbing, but I'll save them for another day. I hate plumbing. <laughs> right, we're going to go for a walk. Uh, and again, if people that are local to Altrincham may know where I am or where we are. Sandra didn't know this place existed. But Excuse we've, me? But I did. This car park you didn't know Not was here? Not the car park, but the walk. Okay. But before we do that, Lee's been having a, a bit of a, a morning with Simon, haven't you? What have you been doing? I'm bouldering. Boulder, can you tell people what bouldering is? It's just like rock climbing wall type things where you just climb up a wall with like little things to hold on to. How is was it, it? Yeah, that's good. You want to do it again? Probably, yeah. And it's quite expensive, isn't it? But uh, right, well, dad, 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 might, dad might treat you. So what we're going to do is Simon, um, who's Lee's older brother, that's right, isn't it? Um, it's up Lee bouldering. I call that rock climbing. And what I'm going to do before we get onto our walk here is some video footage of Lee bouldering. What do you call it if you fall off a bouldering? I don't know. <laughs> Falling down. <laughs> Going up and then not defying the law of gravity. And Lee comes down a couple of times. But you look like you had good fun. Yeah. Definitely going back. Probably, yeah. All right. So here's some clips of Lee bouldering this morning. A couple of weeks, Sandra, and I'm back at the nurseries. Thanks. Yeah, nice. Right, so, we're at the back of Altingham Football Ground. Now, people don't know that there's a car park here. You can use people to drive round. And those of a certain age, if you live in the area, will know about Checkers, the nightclub. And before it was called Checkers, it was a Red Robin club. And uh, yeah, many a night in Checkers, especially, I think it used to be a Thursday night, it used to be, uh, yeah, the, the nightclub, down down in the uh, in the mosque before it was King George, you just have to wear a tie to get in, dead smart mate. And we've got here, the Altingham Tower. Duh, it's big, isn't it, look at that, oh, I'm going dizzy looking up, is it? And we're gonna go for a walk down what we call the Cinder Track. So Lee said, you didn't know what a Cinder Track is, did you? No. So back in the 50s, when they had coke and stuff like that was left over it was produced what was called cinder and a lot of the tracks were made out of uh, cinder so instead of having like chip bark what they do now it was all cinder so we had a couple of what we call cinder tracks right did you know that 
Yeah, me and Hannah did them in lockdown, but you don't believe me because you weren't here. That's fine. So down here, again, back as a lad, um, we're going to end up all being well by Timpley Brook, and we're going to come out at King George's Lake. And in lockdown, many of the local people that actually got off their arses and have been out walking, there are many people that lived in the area, oh, there's a lake in Altrincham, and they didn't even know they was there, did they? And it was like, oh, we've just found a lake. And that lake used to be part of Gibson's Lake, which is part of the donkey field over the golf links, all the way back here, back in the day. Right. Bit of local history, Sandra. Bit of local history. So we're not all being well, we're not going to get caked in mud today, are we? Not like uh, not like the Timpley Wedge Davenport Green Walk, which was very muddy. So one thing one thing I'm noticing, Sandra, there's a lack of cinder. But is there still some old yeah. stuff in there? Yeah, the old old cinder. That's a bit of bird song. So these allotments have been here for many years. And then, did anybody wag it at school? Do you know what wagging is? Do you know what wagging is, Lee? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, plain truant. And no. And no what, Sandra? I didn't sky, I wanted to learn. I didn't sky, but I wagged it a few times. And my sister always talks about finding her little brother wagging it down here on the brook, hiding, in case the teachers found us. So did you wag it? And if you don't call it wag it, what do you call it? 50 or 60 years ago, when you wagged it, I played truant. It's not big and it's not clever, Sandra, is it? Anyway. You what? I was sent to the wrong school. You were sent to the wrong school? Yeah. How, how can you be sent to the wrong school? Blame my mother. Oh God, <laughs> poor, poor Barbara. Right. No, so when we sort of, sort of wag it, I mean, just as boys, because the Timbley Brook meanders over the golf links, and we just go brook hopping. Might, might set Leah challenge in a minute. So he wants to do some brook hopping with his dad, jumping from one side of the brook to the other and not falling in. You're going to walk over the little weir, Lee. I have no idea what weir is. You're not the little weir, right? I'll be well. The little weir is here. And we used to walk over that as well. So, beautiful little walk. And again, a lot of the people that are moving into the area won't know these paths are even here. And this will be the last time I'll ever do this one, Sandra. Maybe. Hey, I'm just going to pop out of the golf course. And there is another cinder track from it's over here the hare and hounds pub uh if you know it in Timpley, you can walk over the cinder track over the golf course and end up down here and then you used to be able to as a young lad walk down the brook looking for golf balls where people had lost them and then get a bag full and you used to be able to sell them a I how much you used to get from me you used to get about a tuppence for them uh brook hop uh, brook hopping sandra you're gonna have a jump over the brook it's more wild garlic. Oh god. Well we had a we had a really good takeaway yesterday. I had a massive container of donami and salad. You, what did you have, Sandra? Pizza? Yeah. And you, you had it Lee, didn't you? Yeah. The best pizza of our lives, wasn't it? Oh no, I really enjoyed the, the donami. So here on the left used to be um, British Gas Headquarters, a massive um, office building. And I actually wanna contract for British Gas back in my photographic days and I had to take out some insurance I think it's four and a half million pounds in case we damaged the film of photographs some oil rigs right so I do believe this in the track here is the one that will bring you out at the Heron Hounds if yeah. that's that, that one there yeah um, Oh, gee, there's a drain there. You see it? It'd be good going down there, wouldn't it? Definitely. <sighs> okay. Right. Uh, 
a little blackbird in front of us and is that two robin sandra this is quite unusual isn't it mm, yep so again in lockdown it was really weird because the golf course was decommissioned you weren't allowed to play golf and it was uh like some of a film on it where people had just discovered they could walk the dogs over the golf course without there you go look how close we're getting to the robin here look hello robin yeah there's the other one there look hello look how close we're getting here hello so we keep on going about robins and being so close to us. this one's almost tame isn't it look how clean we are with him so Heather discovered that Rash could climb trees because there was no golf so we could let them up on the golf course and then and it was sorry uh, up a tree and then uh, Rash followed Hannah up the tree all right it looks something like this has been dredged so obviously trees have come down yeah. but just look deeper bird song uh, right, so like, this is a good jumping spot here now you see from here to here over there can you do that Lee? I'm, I'm not sure can you do it I used to do when I was about 13 14 or 15 or 16 but I'm not as springy as I used to be Lee go on dare you I dare you <laughs> Uh, it looks like it, it looks like it's been dredged and we're just assuming it's uh has some stuff done on it. I'm just looking what that Oh right, yeah. So a bit of education for Lee. Lee, do you know what this little white sign is with a red tip on it? Do you know what that is, Sandra? It says no digging. Yep. Oh there's a pipeline. There's a it's a gas pipeline. Which runs over to that side of the say So there used to be gas storage tanks. So do you remember the big, massive gas storage tanks? Um, there used to be a British Gas Social Club. I was a bit young for that. Yeah, over beach fields. <laughs> yeah, there's a story behind that. Were you still involved then? When with the man, you the really man from Canada, three days before the Oscar Festival coming, he said, "You're going to have to cancel the festival." <laughs> So the wild wild garlic coming up. Um, all right, so in the distance we can see King George's Lake. Uh, and again, as I say, it was like really weird. All the local people going off. King George's Lake and everybody was walking around it. I used to come fishing here. I uh, spent many, 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 many days fishing at King George's. And they used to be pike. But now it's, um, I think it's got rid of the pike and it's mainly carp. But tench and roach and perch. Uh, So, Lee, Bad. when you came here, you were very, very little. Can you remember having a boat race with sticks? Not well, they really. weren't boats, more, like more like a stick race. And we used to put the sticks down here, run down to the bridge and see we go over it. Right, you're going to walk over the wheel, Lee. Come on, you can walk over, you can walk over there, Lee. Come on, come on. I challenge you, Lee. I challenge you. So, we, we used to, with shoes on, Walk over here and try not to slip in. All right, come on. I'm, I'm, you're gonna have a race then. What, a stick race? Yeah, I've got a stick. My stick's better than your stick. I'm gonna. We're, we're gonna take Lee back about 20 years. Are you, are you walking over? What are you doing? Hey, big wave. <laughs> Big wave, Lee, do you remember? Yeah. <laughs> Have you got a stick? Are you having a race? Three, two, one, go! 
Oh. <laughs> Hang on a minute, Lee. We've got a problem with our sticks. They sunk. I, I, null, no, null and void. Null and void. Cancel that. Cancel that. No, 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 Lee. We need to get some of that right, We're going to have another go. I've got a very light one. You, you're not, not going to sink this time. All right, on your marks. Get set. Go. Oh, Lee's in, Lee's in the lead. Lee, Lee's in the lead. Down the way. Down, down we come. Oh, I've got stuck. Lee's winning. Oh, go, go on, Lee. Go on, Lee. Pretend you're three years old. Where have you gone, Lee? Where, where's your stick gone? Lee, you're winning. Lee, he's got to get on that side of the bridge. Mine's You're sunk, Sandra. I think I, mine's, st mine's stuck on the little wheel. Here comes Lee's. You're very competitive, Lee, aren't you? Lee, are you going to make it to the other side of the bridge? It's coming under. Oh. And run over we go. Hey. You see, this is the sort of thing you need to do with your grandson and grandchildren. I bet people don't do stick races anymore. All being well, these sticks should... There it goes, Lee. Winner. Congratulations. Are you happy with that? Very What's it feel like to be the stick race champion of 2024 at King George's Lake? Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> right. So I did walk here last year. Uh, we'd had some snow. Um, so there is a, uh, a video I did here last year, but it's quite mild today, isn't it? Um, quite as nice as yesterday. Avian flu. No. So, uh, yeah. There used to be, again, when we go around, there used to be a boathouse over here um, back in the day. I've actually waded out to these islands and it's water's quite shallow. It's only literally above your knee, up to your waist deep. So it's not particularly deep. Uh, and there's somebody with a fishing shelter here, so there are still people fishing. And it's a beautiful lake. Do you remember here, Lake? Did you know there was a lake near where you live? No. All right. So back in the 60s and 70s, people used to ice skate on here when it froze up. Um, and my personal peg, where I used to fish, was literally on this bank here and there. I never fished really over that side, it was always on this, this section here. Yep. Looks like a crocodile, that doesn't it? So uh, yeah, this was the um, one of my favourite spots here. But look at that! Literally, Altrincham Town Centre is just just there. There's so many people, so many people pre-lockdown didn't even know this lake was here. I can't believe how bright that I can't believe how bright the sun is, look at that. So we were just chatting to a, a volunteer who's doing a bit of groundwork and everything and talking about the history of here and things that people just don't know. We've got the bench here but the table's gone. We'll keep our distance, ducks. You're gonna, you're gonna have a little swim. There you go. It's a bit muddier than I thought it was gonna be. Hey. Well then. No. Oh. 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 Fight. 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 Oh. <laughs> oh dear, what's happening?
Oh, there it is. I'm not too sure what's going on there with the uh, Canadian geese. Heading into spring, it's something to do with mating season. Were they the males and they were these ladies or something? I'm not too sure what's going on there. Uh, no. So you won't see where the orange things are. We'll pass them in a bit. But when we had the heat wave a couple of years ago, the lake was being starved of oxygen. So they had aeration going on over here. And again, we'll pass it in a bit. In the, on the other side of the lake over here, you'll see the round arches is where the old boathouse used to be um so he's supposed to just come here and just get day tickets are you going to really check whether they've got any frog spawn in the garden this year or not are you going to shimmy along there, Sandra? Sit on the end there and have a photograph taken. Just, just sat right on the end of the log. Go on, just make, work, work your way along, Sandra. You'll be all right. Lee, she'll be all right, won't she? Yeah? Dare you. Hey? Come on. Dare you, go on. You do it. There you go. I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm cameraman today. <laughs> Only kidding. The one with the red dog on the end, so is that a moor end or a coot? If it's got red on it, it'll be a moor hen. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Feed, 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 feed. Oh. And so the one with the white. That's the coot. That's the coot with the white head. There's two coots. Two coots. How many, how many coots are there? One, two. Alright, these poor ducks up here don't know there's a feeding session going on. Here, having a sleep. Yeah, having a snoozy. Uh, just at the far end of the lake now, and this in front of us is what's called BTH, Blessed Thomas Holford School, and that's. Looking down the lake here, so a little lot of people just come looking, uh, fishing for pike down this end. And say so I never really uh, did it. Uh, we just heard a woodpecker as well, didn't we, Sandra? Yeah. Hello, ducks. We'll walk past you. You just stay there. Don't worry. Just chill out. Chill out. That's it. Just be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Oh, there's some ducks in the brook. Ah, sunshine and a bit of blue sky. So we're just coming up to the old original boathouse where there used to be a rowing boat. And the bailiff you to have uh, all that remains of it now needs to be into the water there so I bet, I bet a lot of people that come here don't actually know that that was the old boat house do you know that Sandra? I didn't know that yeah and say so where that tin hut is now there used to be a bailiff 
if I could have been in that building there um, when he's going around getting your money for your day tickets um, so you can if you know how to get down here you can actually drive down a bit of a path it's quite tight but the um, parking can be limited and there's a really tight turnaround and then there was a uh, years ago it was around here now so I found an old safe been dumped here um, Yeah, that's the uh, yeah, that's what was going on there. There we go. I never caught a bream here, late back in the day. But carps and perch, yeah. There's a lesser water boatman, Sandra. Ouch. There's no perch on there, I can see. I was see just, the just heard a woodpecker on the picnic bench. There's an angler there. And a little bit of a jetty. somebody with his carp rods out so we'll just try and discreetly And we're back to the gate where we came in. Back. Back. And look at that. And that will probably be the last time I will ever see that view. So a lake, literally 10 minute walk outside Altrincham. Hey. There's two nesting boxes there, but there was a squirrel on it. It's just gone around yeah. the side. Yeah, we've got a couple of, uh, we've got an owl box back at the uh, nurseries as the uh, rooks get into it. So, Lee, you see the big grey building there in front of you? Yeah. Do you know what that is? No. Seriously? That's an acker. You're old school, old school college of arts. Yeah. Uh, it's literally there. Our house is just literally over the fields over here. Uh, but yeah, that's exactly that. Right, so we're just going to come to this bridge here. It's been actually on the golf links, but we're allowed to walk here. Don't annoy, don't annoy the golfers, whatever you do. Sandra, how do you enjoy your little walk there? Bit of a brisk one, nice and uh, sunny, not freezing. Fine, but do you believe me now that I was here in lockdown a lot? Everybody was here in lockdown a lot. I wasn't. Where was I? Um, depends which bit of lockdown. <laughs> Mostly Northumberland, I guess. No, oh, lock, lockdown in Northumberland. You enjoy your little walk there, Lee? Quite nice. Yeah. All the wild animals and waterfowl and I can't believe you can't remember not not coming here. Never came fishing here with me. Right, I think we'll finish the vlog off. So as I say, that was Lee doing a bit of bouldering at the beginning. Sandra having a bit of a plumbing dilemma, me fixing it. Can he fix it? And a little walk. It's not a competition, dude. It is. I said I would sort it actually, but thank you for sorting it. And a little walk around King George's Lake. The pub we went to with Sandra on New Year's Eve is now called the, um, it's called the King George. Originally that was called the Moss because of all the marshland and all the bog and everything. So uh, yeah, back in the day. Right, 
I think we'll finish the vlog off. Do you want to say to our Sandra? See you soon. Do you want to say to our Lee? Bye. Bye. And remember, folks, keep tuned in. There's a vlog coming your way very soon from the campsite warden. Mm -hmm.